Hello, Frosty Fat Ten here. Path of the Ronin, Part Three Guide. We got loyalty. Uh, get fifty operator revenge kills. Now this one, you got so many options. The best one, of course, is uh, shipment. So if there's a shipment twenty four seven, which there isn't at the moment, that'd be the way to go. You really need to find petty people who camp. Camping campers are the key. If you can just keep killing the camper, then you camp in their spot, they come back and they try and kill you. You want pettiness. Supreme pettiness. Revenge. Perfectly natural for COD players. I think you'll get it done pretty quick. Uh, you know, 35 minutes for an hour maybe. Maybe a bit longer. Depending on your performance, whether you get lucky. One of the things, I helped other people with theirs. Because I just kept trying to kill them over and over again and gave myself shot. So, you know. It's, it's one of those things, give and take. The classic COD attitude of finding someone who shot you. Now, there are some game modes that make it much harder. I'd say gun game. Uh, free for all, if everyone camps, is probably a good one to do. Honestly, though, I didn't find it that good. Uh, domination, classic mode. Um, that's fine. Hardcore, I was doing a bit of hardcore, just mixed modes. Hard points, pretty good. Because, again, you want modes where people head to certain areas. So, headquarters, hard point. They're sort of the they're the ones. I mean, headquarters you can just they you can get shot by the person. The problem with the challenge is that you have to die first, so it's kind of counterintuitive to most challenges in COD because it's like oh you have to get shot first and get killed and then you have to run around to the map find them again, and again that sort of plays into the size of the map and the nature of the players involved. So with maps with lots of crossover where they're going between the lanes, moving from one side of the map to the other, it's kind of hard to pinpoint the exact guy you're looking for. So maybe. Just play aggressive after you get shot. Play passive, get shot, play aggressive. Whether you're capable of that, again, you can give that a go. Uh, I was going to do it infected, and I thought, nah, that's not that's not smart at all. So there's a whole bunch of modes you can try. Uh, third person is not too bad. All the normal mosh pits, less players the better. So, but it, it kind of does depend on the map and the luck. If you get shipment, I think shipment's one of the best for it. And then. The other thing you do is mix in this challenge, which is the final challenge. 25 melee operator kills. Easiest challenge for them all. Absolutely easiest one. So you just got to run around and melee people. And with the uh, dual swords. Dual Odachi. Kodachi. Odachi is the big one. Kodachi is the little one. Yeah, dual Kodachi. Really good. Because one of the things you can do doing them at the same time is on a map like Shipman, if you run around with a knife, or a dual Kodachi and you kill someone, they're going to um, want to get you back. And especially if they switch to their knife and then everyone's trying to stab each other with the knives, you get that's a good way to do the revenge. Is sort of annoy people. It's really, that's the way to go. And the other mode, the best mode, of course, for melee, the best mode by our country mile is third person mosh pit. Especially, you know, if you're not very good or you think you're not that great, you know, it, depending on any skill level, Third person makes the melee so much easier. The tracking for melee on, particularly on console, is so much better on third person. It's just crazy how much easier it is. Because sometimes you find in first person, you go for a knife thing, and so you'll, the, the lunge animation puts you in a bad position. They can get around you quite easy. But in third person, it's much easier to orientate yourself towards the enemy and finish them off with the melee. So, you've done all the challenges. Hopefully my guides have helped. Most of me just complaining. The alternate on Warzone is... That one's not too bad. The public event. But the perform three executions on any plays in Warzone. Uh, yeah, good luck with that. So yeah, I think melee's... Multiplayer is the way to go. And then bam, 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 bam. We got it. So yeah, this has been Frosty Fire 10. I've got the crossbow. And you'll join me. Get the crossbow too. It's in the Marksman Rifle thing as well. So yeah, um, good luck with the event. Good luck just grinding out the revenge kills just by being petty, playing like a good cold player should. And melee's easy. Um, of any of the challenges you might have trouble with, operator kills without dying, that's easy and infected. You just go and back up again. Operator assist, you'll just do that naturally as you play. Although domination and modes where like not team deathmatch, other modes are probably better. And just chucking decoy grenades and flash grenades and things. Uh, battle Rage, this is still the hardest challenge I think out of all of them. Operator kills using Battle Rage, just because Battle Rage is so shit. And the defense kills, you have to, you know, yeah, Claymores, 
uh, mines on the defense point. Hanging around domination. Headquarters. A hard point. Hard point's probably the best way to do it. Just hanging on the hard point. Uh, and then 15 matches wins. That's easy. So yeah. Um, this has been Frost of Catch you next time. Like and subscribe. Good luck.